Good morning, America. I'm Charles Gibson. I'm Diane Sawyer, and it's Tuesday, September 11th, 2001. It is lunchtime in London, 5 a.m. in Los Angeles, and 8 a.m. here in New York, live from the CNN Financial News headquarters. It is beautiful outside, perfect September day with lots of sunshine. Oh, would you look at Washington, huh? I'm going outside today. Other than that, it's kind of quiet around the country. We like quiet. It's quiet. It's too quiet. Number two. Yeah. This, Justin, you were looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center. La espera de, de mayores informaciones, saber qué fue lo que ocurrió, cómo fue que este... Apparently, a plane has crashed into the World Trade Center in New York. It, it does not appear that there's any kind of a, an effort up there yet. Now remember, oh my God. Oh my God. That looks like a second plane. Has just I did not see a plane go in. That, that just exploded. We I, just saw another plane coming in from the side. You did. I did that was out of absolute Yes, and idea. that's the second explosion. You could see the plane come in just from the right-hand side of the screen. So this looks like it oh, is Lord. some sort of a concerted Deliberate. effort to attack the World Trade Center that is underway. running away very, very quickly. There are more explosions further down the building. This is so shocking, of course, to everybody watching. I, I've never seen anything like it. It literally blew itself into World Trade Center. The building is exploding right now. you got people running up the street. David, we're going to, David, we're going to, to cut you off. President Bush is speaking. Uh, today, we've had a national tragedy. Uh, two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center in an apparent terrorist attack on our country. And the Pentagon is being evacuated. There is a large fire there, and that is the smoke you see in the shot that you are looking at now. It appears that an aircraft of some sort did hit the side of the Pentagon. That's a very haunting description that Bob Kerr just gave of that low-flying aircraft near the White House, and one can only wonder if that was something that ultimately ended back. up in the Pentagon. Can we just saw a live picture of what seemed to be a portion of the building falling away. Wow. And some Jamie, people were... Jamie, I need you to stop for a second. There has just been a huge explosion. We can see uh, a billowing smoke rising and I can't, I'll, I'll tell you that I can't see that second tower, but y there was a cascade of sparks and fire, and now this, it looks almost like a mushroom cloud explosion. Let's go to the trade tower again, because John, we now have a, what do we have? We don't, wow. It looks like a, a new plume, a new large plume of smoke. Only one tower is standing, the other has collapsed. It Thanks has very much, then. collapsed. The whole side has collapsed? The whole there? building has collapsed. The I'm whole building has collapsed? The building has collapsed. We heard a big bang, and then we saw smoke coming out, and everybody started running out, and we saw the plane on the other side of the building, and there was smoke everywhere, and people are jumping out the windows. Over there, they're jumping out the windows, I guess because they're trying to save themselves. I don't know. And there, as you can see, perhaps the second tower, the front tower, the top portion of which is collapsing. Good Lord. There are no words. There's a, there's a haze everywhere. It's very, very difficult to see, but there has been a, the whole area has been covered by soot and ash, but it looks almost like snow. So as people are coming up the street, running from the scene of this new explosion, 所有飞往纽约和华盛顿的客机都已转飞加拿大的机场。I'm going to interrupt you, Senator McCain. These are the first pictures we have in. Uh, this is from Somerset County, Pennsylvania. This is where the United Airlines flight, I believe it is 176, went down. Hillary, I need to interrupt you. This is a Taliban spokesman uh, talking uh, now in Kabul, I believe. Freedom itself was attacked this morning by a faceless coward, and freedom will be defended. قبل دقائق من افتتاح وول ستريت الذي انهار تماما بعد أن التهمته النيران. أول تعليق لمكتب التحقيقات الفدرالي أشار إلى أن طائرة البوينغ 
اختطفت من مطار بوسطن